Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Connie Kenneth. If you're new here, welcome and make sure you hit that subscribe button because the video that I'm going to react to today is personal because I love Sals so much. She has, ah, she, this woman can write books. You know, her life is something so Please, guys, make sure you run over to her YouTube channel and subscribe and support her. And I was just having lunch and then she uploaded a video and I'm like, girl, just by the topic, I know this is going to be so good. This is going to be so educative. So please stay until the end. Make sure you watch until the end. And let's see. So, so this video is give from your overflow and not from your cup. This is something that I've preached over and over and over again just by saying that you cannot give from an empty cup. So you have to fill your cup first and then, you know, be in a position to give. But she's talking about giving from your overflow. And I love that. So let's see what she has to say. beautiful guys sales is a whole vibe she's a whole vibe okay so just make sure you check her out self-comfort right there. Hello, my lovelies. Is he good? Is he okay? Is he alright? Oh, so you're going to illustrate this whole thing. Okay, let's get into it. Let's see. It's your girl sounds comfort. And today I want to share with you something that I live by. You all know how much I love me. I love mm. me some me. I buy flowers for myself. Before COVID, I would take myself for dinner. Mm. I take myself to the spa. I can even take myself mm. to the movies. It's very important for me to have dates with me. Right. A few years ago, and that's very important because self-love is something that we do not practice enough. We feel, most of us feel that we need to, to be with somebody, you know, so we can enjoy. And we, need, we feel that we want to be treated, but that is wrong. I think that's not the way to go about it because I feel um, you need that alone time so you can know who you are. You need to discover yourself and it's only through those alone times that you get to discover who you are and then you get to be the person that you want to be and so on and so forth. So that's very important. So just do those alone moments all by yourself. You can be just meditating, reading a book, you know, buying yourself flowers, just going for coffee, just going to the movies alone. I don't know, just your time, because that's the only time you get to, you know, to have like a flashback, I would say, from, for example, where you're coming from and where you want to go and so on. And, you know, just get to, if you have ideas, that's when my, I know personally, my alone time is, that's when I have new ideas, where I have, um, you know, I, I get to appreciate who I am and and just probably sometimes review something that I want to change in my life and only when you're alone that's when you get to know so do not wait for anybody let anybody in your life it your boyfriend your husband your children let that be the cherry on top because that's when you will people will not play you around like a marionette so that's very important I go I watched a video Sorry, it's, just... it's very important mm. for me to have dates with me Right. A few years ago, I watched a video and the lady in the video said something that resonated with me, mm -hmm. something that hit me to the core. Since then, I have been trying my absolute best to make sure that the number one person that is taken care of before anyone else is me. I would like to illustrate to you why it's important for you to take care of yourself first. This mm -hmm. cup represents you. And the reason it's full is because it represents you at your best. Right. This is when you've taken care of yourself emotionally, physically, mm -hmm. financially, mm -hmm. mentally. Right. right now, you're at your absolute best. You're feeling yourself. 
Right. You're living life to the fullest. Mm -hmm. But now imagine this. Your husband demands your attention. Mm -hmm. Your children demand your attention. Mm -hmm. Your mother demands something from you financially. Your father demands something from you financially. Your work demands from you as well. Your friends come around the corner and mm. so on and so forth. Yeah, and the bills and the, the daily stress and the, the broken machine that has just... I mean, there are so many things in life that can drain you. You know, you and that's why I believe we should not be... Um, we should not just um slack you know just because we have everything at a certain moment when you look at people who are happy it's because they continuously continue feeding their minds with positive things by trying to improve themselves you know as as individuals you know and so on so it's a continuous not a struggle i wouldn't say a struggle but it's a it's it's only normal to continue building yourself because the moment you stop building yourself individually as a person, then you create space for other things that could be negative and could be nocive to your well-being and so on. So that's when the draining starts. Because the more you continue, the more the cups either um, overflows or it's always full and then you just give the what's what's on the top the cherry on top that's how I, I like calling it so but the minute you stop feeding yourself and taking care of yourself and so on then people drain from what you already have and that's where the depression uh, sets in that's where all the negativity sets in and um, and that's when you know you start doubting yourself as a person and you start demeaning yourself as a person and that's where everything your world seems to tumble down why because you allow because in a way we allow people um to get into that space where they feel comfortable enough to you know to 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 take everything that we have and drain us so this is a very good good illustration of how i mean how exactly it happens so i agree with you someone is chipping at you emotionally right. something is chipping at you financially mm -hmm. something is chipping at you physically maybe right. you're sick something is chipping at you mentally mm -hmm. maybe you're also mentally not fit right. things keep chipping at you mm -hmm. and what happens with this full cup is it starts to run empty right. it keeps running empty because a lot of things in this world will chip at you a lot mm -hmm. and if you do not take care of yourself well very soon right your cup will be empty you? absolutely your cup will be empty and the other people will be full will take a portion of you and they still want more and even from the empty cup and that's the dangerous point that could be the breaking point so do not allow it to happen you will have taken care of all these people mm -hmm. but who's taking care of you right you will love all these people but who's loving you you're putting your husband first your kids first your parents first but who's putting you first right your cup is empty now you do not have the strength to even get up mm -hmm. maybe you're depressed financially you're a wreck but there is nothing in there right to help you get up right it's totally empty yeah and that's that's really a dangerous point when you're empty inside because when you look at the cup it's inside there's just a structure the zombie you that's that's everything that's left and um so stop doing that and i believe the moment you want but it's a journey of course okay but the moment you start loving yourself you start taking of yourself first you start you stop disrespecting yourself and the moment you you believe you you actually get it that everything that happens to you is 100 percent your fault and not any because we allow all those things all those situations you know to overwhelm us but the minute you say i'm going to take control of my life it's my life it's my health 
and been you know looking self-care is not selfish because most people think oh but I have children so if I go to the movies alone then I'm leaving my children oh no you need that time all to yourself sometimes and it's not selfish it's just self-care okay and um, and very vital because the moment you stop doing that then you're going to drain yourself and it's not uh, healthy Wow Let's say for example your cup is full mm -hmm. Here it is again you're emotionally mentally physically financially okay this right. is you living your best life okay what I have personally found out is that... Oh, is this when the overflow comes? Let's see. People are feeling your best life. Mm -hmm. What I have personally found out is that when people are feeling good, they start slacking. They stop taking care of themselves because they feel like, why should I take care of myself mm -hmm. mentally? There is no need. I beat right. my depression. Why should I take care of myself emotionally? My husband is loving me. Right. My kids are loving me. Mm. I'm all around loved. I do not need any other type of love. But you need the love that comes from you. Right. Now picture this. Your cup runneth over. Right. This is you continuing to take care of yourself. Mm. Oh, Lord. This is oh, I get where you're going. Does it mean that your cup is actually full all the time, but, you know, by all the self-love that you're giving yourself, the self-care, you know, I mean, the physical, the mental, all that, you're taking care of yourself, and then whatever is in the bowl, then that's the one you're going to give out because your cup is overflowing, so you, oh... Ooh, this is fantastic. I love it. I guess that's where you're going, Sals, right? This is you loving you. This is you buying yourself flowers. This nice. is you gifting yourself. This is you doing everything and anything that you need to do to make sure that mm. you love you. Your cup runs over. Mm. And when your cup runs over, instead of giving from your cup directly, you give from your overflow. Anything that comes your way, you give from your overflow. Yeah. Your husband, parents, kids, work, friends, life, you give from your overflow. You're always, always topping up that cup. Wow. And it's always overflowing. And then you give from your overflow. Wow. You never... Oh, this perspective is beautiful this perspective is fantastic i have learned something i've never looked at it this way from this perspective and i i love it thank you so much sales i love it ever ever give from your cup that is why i preach self-love that is why i preach self-care because if your cup is full man that is the best feeling ever if you have extra love to give if you have that extra buck to share mm -hmm. if you have that extra care to give to your kids be selfish take care of yourself first that is why even the mm -hmm. bible says love others like you love yourself right. no one on this planet is going to love you better than you can love yourself no one on this planet is mm -hmm. ever going to take you see self-love self-care self-appreciation it all starts from you it all starts from you, with you. I mean, uh, once you're fulfilled, and this is something that you learn with age as well, but if you're young, please listen. Listen, because you will gain so many years um, that, you know, the years that you will start loving yourself, taking care of yourself. And let me tell you, self-care is not selfishness. You deserve it. It's actually a right you know, to take care of yourself so you can be in a position to help another person. Think at it like this. Imagine you're in a car accident, right? And then um, if both of you are seriously injured, nobody can help the other person. But if one of you is seriously injured and the other one is not, then the one who's okay will 
take care of you who is injured. So you, you see what I mean? So that's exactly how you should look at life. And that's how it is. Take care of yourself first. Despite all the criticism that will come with it, all the all the haters that will come with it, it's okay. Just ignore them and just take care of yourself first, and then you will be in a position to help others and you know and to give to other people without draining yourself. Take care of you better mm. than you can take care of yourself. Yes. Our parents have taken care of us. They have loved us. But now we are grown-ups. Mm -hmm. And what happens is we are always busy taking care of others. Mm -hmm. And that takes away from you. That chips at you as a person. Right. Fill your cup, my lovelies. Fill your cup. Let it overflow. And from your surplus, give from that. Mm -hmm. Okay? It's been your girl's house comfort. Now you know why I also preach live, laugh, love. It's right. also a way of taking care of yourself. Love yourself. Take care of yourself. Embrace yourself. Mm. After all, no one hardly takes care of you if you run out. Right. Give from your overflow, right. never from your cup. Oh, so that was really fantastic. And thank you so much, Sals, for sharing because this is exactly what most of us need to hear. And I have learned a new perspective from this one. It's from the overflow, okay? Because that's very important because only then and then um, is it healthy to help other people. Otherwise, it will drain. You know, we, will, we just get drained after that. So thank you so much for watching this. If you love my reaction to this one, please... Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend. And until next time, thank you so much for watching. And don't remember and don't forget self love, self care, self appreciation, and make sure you give away, you give from the overflow. Okay, so bye.